Hello and welcome to the PC Security Channel. Today's topic is going to be ransomware transitioning into the cryptocurrency market. It's long been known that ransomware authors typically use cryptocurrency as a form of payment to stay anonymous. But with the current rise in the value of various leading cryptocurrencies, like you're probably aware of the recent rise in Bitcoin value, those cyber criminals are now more concerned with mining. So we've already seen ransomware that will mine cryptocurrency on your system until you pay the ransom. And now the developers of Venus Locker have switched to Monero mining from creating ransomware. So basically their malicious payloads have now turned into a kind of mining software, which is currently being targeted mostly to Korea. This article talks about that in detail. So as we can see, the primary campaign right now seems to use a different kind of um, a packed or zipped file. It uses the egg extension. And the reason for that is probably to, again, avoid detection at the earlier level as much as possible. So the file that's being distributed is only detected by one engine at the time of the article, I'm guessing. That's just because the file format is different and most scanners won't really scan for that. However, the actual payload is going to be picked up by most engines and we'll see what it does in a few moments. So now let's move to our test system where we already have the file ready. I'm going to execute it and we'll see what happens in Process Hacker as I do that. So there we go. The file should be running now. Currently, it's not taking up any considerable amount of CPU, but that's probably going to change. And wow, as you can see, it's already taking up like 50% of the CPU. Let's see if it reacts to task manager being opened. And it does. The notepad process that it was running just instantly terminated as I opened task manager. And if I close it, we're back to mining again. And CPU usage goes up to like 50%. And if we right click and check properties, you can actually see that it's mining for Monero, monerohash.com. Also, as you can see, this is listed as a verified Microsoft Windows process because that's what it is. And uh, that's why I guess it is quite difficult to detect such uh, Bitcoin mining malware sometimes because the mining behavior itself is legit. Like the thing is, it's difficult to differentiate whether you are mining Bitcoins or obviously nobody mines Bitcoins these days. You'll be mining Monero, uh, maybe Ethereum, something like that. So it's difficult to differentiate whether you're mining for yourself or if somebody else is mining on your system. I think this is going to be the new adware for 2018. Like this type of malware will probably be very prevalent in the upcoming years as cryptocurrency goes up in value. I mean, now is a great time to mine and what better way to do it than use someone else's resources, rake in the profits. You may think, well, uh, it's only using my CPU at the moment, so what benefit could it possibly bring them? The thing is, for them, it's not just one system. They may infect thousands of systems and the computational power adds up. And all the while, they don't have to bear the electricity costs. So basically, anything they make is a profit. So please watch out for this kind of malware because it is quite stealthy and difficult to find out unless you're specially looking for it. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please leave a like. Stay tuned for more exciting content. And don't forget to subscribe to the Peace Security channel. This is Leo. Thank you for watching. And as always, stay informed, stay secure.